Underscreen camera phones will eventually make the notch, the hole punch and the pop up absolutely redundant. So who is working on this tech right now and who is the closest to bringing it to the market? First, we've got details from both Xiaomi and Oppo and actually some videos of prototype phones with this underscreen camera tech. Xiaomi have said they're working extremely hard right now at pushing this technology forward. Most companies in the smartphone industry agree that consumers really do want the underscreen camera solution. Even though the notch is becoming smaller, it's a fairly old design now, and smartphone companies have moved over to the hole punch display. The problem with this is that the more cameras and sensors you want, the bigger that hole punch display is, and it just doesn't really look that great. Samsung, however, have already gone through that stage and are now making the cutout display smaller and smaller. Firstly, it was a big, unsightly hole punch in the screen, but now this year, Samsung are able to make a hole punch just three millimeters big. That still isn't perfect though. It really depends on two things. Firstly, the capability to manufacture the hardware. And secondly, the software needs to be good enough to deal with the light distortion as it comes in through the display and onto the camera sensor. As for production, Samsung have already confirmed that they are setting up production for underscreen camera phones for 2020. They're actually setting up production of this technology and so underscreen camera phones are agonizingly close. The laser cutting process needs needed for this type of display isn't ready yet for large scale production. The next generation of laser cutting screen technology is needed before we can get these underscreen camera phones. This also requires an OLED display because the only way you can get light actually through the screen and onto the camera sensor is by having transparent anode and cathode layers that allow light to pass through the screen and into the camera. Samsung's name for this technology is Hole In Active Area Display 2, an upgrade from the first generation. Another problem is that the light that does come through this type of OLED display is still distorted. So that's when you need software to kick in and be able to produce a usable image, even though it doesn't have as much light as a camera system placed on top of the screen would have. But rest assured, these solutions are coming and Xiaomi, Oppo, and Samsung are pushing this technology forward right now. But Samsung Display are actually the closest to manufacturing this. This is why they moved to the hole punch display a while back so that they could start making this technology, make the cutout smaller and smaller until they are able to fit the whole thing under the screen. Samsung are planning to ramp up production of this technology, but it's the quality of the image from that camera sensor on the front that is the main sticking point and will prevent it from going into flagship phones until it's absolutely perfect. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and upcoming tech information. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.